Good afternoon and welcome to day 62 of Give It 10. Day 62 of 365 and um, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, my sciatic's really playing up at the moment so I know definitely that I need to be working on my glutes. So this today's exercise is a bit of glute work. So what we're going to do is lie on our side, we're going to stack our hips one on top of the other and we are going to do what I call Jane Fonda's. So we are literally just raising and lowering the knee here. Now there's a tendency when you do this to rock back because that makes it a whole hell of a lot easier. And then you can get a big space here. But what I want you to do is really focus on stacking those hips one on top of the other and then just lifting the knee. And you might not be able to get it very high, but you will definitely feel this in your glutes there. OK, and what you can do after you've done 10 here is literally leave the knee up and then just take a small gap. You can't see because I've got these baggy trousers on. You want to leave a small gap between your heels of about an inch. So you do 10 raises here, take your knee up, just separate your feet slightly and then hold this position, position here for 10 seconds and you're certainly going to feel it. Now I've got a whole stack of um, glute workouts. Um, this exercise forms one of six that um, is my whole um, glute workout, which you'll see if you go into my YouTube channel, you'll see the uh, ab, um, ab blast, uh, uh, glute blast there. I can't remember what I called it now. I think it's probably glute blast. Um, but it, another exercise uh, is taking your leg down. You twist it at the hips and you come up and down in the traditional Jane Fonda. And there's a few more in there as well, so you go and check that one out. But for today, you'll give it 10. And obviously when you've done 10 on one side and the 10 second hold, to make it extra challenging, do three sets of 10 on one side and then change over to the other side. Or you can do set of 10 on one side, set of 10 on the other side, and alternate sides, so you're kind of resting in between each one. Um, it depends how strong your glutes are and where you're starting. Remember, with all these things, it's about starting where you're at, making it super easy, so if that just means a couple of repetitions and a couple of seconds hold. If that's where you're at, start there. Why do you need to do it? Well, we've spoken about this before. Glutes are the biggest muscle in the body. We spend a lot of time sitting on them. They go to sleep and then when they've gone to sleep and stopped doing their job, other muscles in the hips and the knees and the ankles and the lower back take over to try and do those jobs for them. And inevitably, they are not equipped to do it and we get pain in those areas from weak glute, muscle, weak glute muscles. So really important to keep those glute muscles nice and strong. And don't forget to give yourself a big high five, happy dance. Um, in a kind of cheer when you've done this to release that dopamine in your brain so your brain remembers that we like to do this stuff and you remember to do it again and again. But for now, I'm going to gently carry on with my glute exercises and I will see you tomorrow for some more. Toodaloo!